Knowledge problems arise from efforts to understand the world. Ideas produced or appropriated are considered as real as concrete objects that are touched and felt. Problems are ones that learners really care about. They are usually very different from problems presented in textbooks and puzzles. I think one of the other things to um, engage students in learning, to bring out their natural curiosity, is you need to make the tasks, as many as you can, authentic tasks. And that's another high yield strategy that's particularly needed in middle school. Students want to know why they're doing it. And as I said earlier, they have a right to know why they're doing it. What does this relate to in my world? And so if we can make the tasks authentic, that there really is a reason for doing it, I'm continuously in search of tasks that the kids can do where they might be writing letters to somebody or it might be a writing contest that they've entered. Um, several examples of those have happened in my classroom in the last couple of years. The Hamilton Police Force took on uh, three new horses as part of their force and we were involved in the naming of the horses. So there was a research element to the project. The students uh, came up with a name that had to be relevant to the area and at Spencer Valley two students here actually did uh, win the contest. That was an example of an authentic task where they were really engaged. There was an outcome, it was going out into the community and they hoped to be successful. We're, help, we're raising money to help the salmon and like, because they're endangered species because the people used to overfish and all that stuff and they're cutting down trees and, um, and we're making an arcade to help that. So. Just to raise money for that. Mm -hmm. You seem to know a lot about salmon, how did that happen? Um, well, we started raising salmon from when they hatched and to their fry age, and then and we um, and we went on knowledge form and we um, and lots of people asked lots of questions like what and we made a wonder wall where everyone would ask their questions and maybe the next knowledge form time people would answer the questions and. Um, for example, one of my questions were, why do they have to, s why in their, um, why when their eggs do they have to like stay in the condo as they would call it, and all the eggs would be in there, and then when they hatch, they would stay in there for a little bit, and then and, and then they would wait, and we would wait, and then they hatch, and then we would release them into the rocks, and um, once when um, I think it was three of the eggs died, um, we dissected them. And then we found that once you touch them, once we touch them um, with the fork or, or knife, they just dissolved right away. So you couldn't exactly dissect them.